Welcome brethren for visiting our channel known as Division of Labor. Today, we are joining last week Holy Ghost Court from where it stopped, which today is the final verdict, where husband denied his twin sons that he is not the biological father. Thanks be to God, all went went and it was a forgiveness day of reconciliation and unity. We are splitting this video clip into two sections. Please look for part 1 and part 2. Before we watch this Holy Ghost Court, conducted by Brother Ibuka Obi in Zion Prayer Movement Outreach for the Married Men and Women. Please, subscribe our channel, and share to your friends and family, as you will help some families be delivered from domestic violence, marital setback, disorder, especially husband and wife. When it comes to matrimonial union, Brother Ibuka Obi used to make Bible references to back up his spiritual prophetic verdicts. He reviews 1 Peter 3 verse 7, Husbands, in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives, and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life, so that nothing will hinder your prayers. Let's read what the scripture said in Ephesians 5 verses 22 to 33, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. Remember in the book of 1 Timothy 5 verse 8, New International Version said, Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. And King James Version said in verse 8, But if any provide not for his own, and specially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worse than an infidel. Why the book of Proverbs 31 verse 3 said, Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. And New King James Version said, Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. Now let's watch this Holy Ghost Court together. See you again on another videos. May the Lord bless your home and keep your matrimony and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Amen and hallelujah. So about the man last week, right? I think it was last week. If it's not one thing, I wouldn't want to continue. But for the sake of God and for the sake of the family, no matter how rough you are, if you are opportune to stand or sit in my presence, you're supposed to compose yourself. Otherwise, I go and get governors, senators, no but they did not have appointments and they went back to Abuja. I will let you know how many people that you know their name in this country that always come to see me. Some of them, I will tell them, no, come the other day. So if you have opportunity to see me, no matter how rough you are, you must humble and make your point. Because I'm not here for your, for, I'm not, seeing you is for your own good, not for my own good. Am I communicating? Anything I'm doing here is for your own good. That must sink in your subconsciousness and thinking faculty. I have nothing to gain by seeing you, by listening to you. You are the one that have a lot to gain and to learn. My reward is in heaven. And I'm doing the work of the Father. Am I communicating? If you have opportunity to see me and you're raising hand, it's like somebody that have gone to bank to collect money. And the bank say that it's no money. The person have the right to shout, react, because bank is holding your money. But you didn't pay me. You are not paying me. I'm doing the work of the Father, which is freely. So you're supposed to know I'm here to serve you. And the serving you, serving God is to serve you. So you benefit Last Sunday, he nearly slapped hell out of me. But, even when Brother Christian was begging me, it's okay, 
For the sake of the children, let's have this meeting today. So, and that is why Ishimi is still talking about it today. For the sake of the children, for the sake of the wife, for himself. Because tomorrow, when the children are united with him and the family, before his old age, when his hand can no longer lift up and leg will no longer lift up, he will know the importance of family being together. Why, why some of you think you can do it? After all, let my children be on their own. Let this one. It's because you think you are still young. When you are very old, you will know the importance of family. The happiest death is when someone is dying and he look around and see his children around him. That is one of the happiest deaths. There are some people, if they are dying, that is the one they told me, the woman was dying, they are looking for blood. The son who says, I'm not going to donate my blood. If my, if my mom wants to die, let her die. There is no amount of money that is more than children. No matter what you have, there is nothing that is more than family. There are some people that have billions in their account, but they lack family. They lack children. There are some rich men that have done IVF five, six times, and it's fair. Am I communicating? So there is nothing like children, wife, family. If God give you children, one of the things you must do is for them to remain together and for, you, for them to always see you as their father. Because so many fathers out there, some of their children cannot say, is my father. That is why we're here. He raised his singing up, he raised his down. He raised his down. He raised his down. Oh yes, no, 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 so, a book will be the simple, right? But his simplicity should not be taken for granted. May God bless you. Woman, may God bless you. Woman, I can Okay. Who is talking today? Who is the first? I'm going to be there because last week I said I did not have a chance to talk. I'm going to start. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On our wow, 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 Oh, my name is Christ. And make and make an on your brother. Can you flow in English? I can flow in English. Oh, you yeah, use English. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm greeting everybody. First and foremost, I have to really a tender, a sincere apology to our great man of God. Asena, Onya Amaro, Onya Na Apoya Nwa Tuke. Onwe, it is not really me. 
it is not of me. But I still give God the praise. I don't want to say much. Daddy, I'm sorry. I am sorry. No problem, no problem. Even before now, I didn't hold anything against you. It's for the good of your family. I, I really overreacted. You know, when you are on an issue that you never plan and you never hear of, it will come to you as a surprise. As a man, I really overreacted. I could have. Yeah, yeah, put the mic on your mouth. The mic, hi, and a small. I said that I really overreacted. I tell you, I am sorry. I don't want you to bear that what happened that last time. It is not of me. I want you to look at it in a, just as a man of God you are. And in the spiritual realm. So I'm sorry. I want you to look into my family with the eye of that spiritual you have. I believe in you. If I didn't believe in you, I would not even come the first time. I know you and I've been planning to see you. So I'm very, very happy that I have the second chance to even speak before you. Let us forget our differences and then think maturely. I am today telling you that I love whatever you are doing and I'm here to be a partaker to what you are doing. It's just that I was I would say that I was taken for just unexpected. And once you took my person, a man, unexpected, even if you are in the house and you hear there is a thief, there is a thief, you have to start pursuing that thief. So my man of God, if I tell you what I have encountered, you will not believe. Here and there, this man you are seeing here sits with president. I sat with Dangotes. I sat with people that matters in this country. My money is here and there. And the okay, your apology is accepted. This one is a, a different thing. What we're talking now is about your family. This is the Holy Ghost Court. Then by Congress, these ones can be attended to. It's a minor thing to compare what God is doing here. Very minor. Your wife came last week and complained that two of you are not relating well like husband and wife. She complained that you did not, you are not the one taking care of your children in university. She complained you beat her. She complained because of that she's having BP. She complained to the extent that we call one of your son and he confirmed that. I, and they, I think that is the main reason we are here to make sure that sanity, peace, unity re is restored. Then, the issue of your case if I'm in a consultation mood, you can't tell me your problem. If I look at your hand, I will tell you everything. And if you do what I ask you to do, you get solution. Everybody here, um, uh, those that have seen me before, will confirm. So, we want to first that area to make sure that the family is united. So that is the area I want you to react. Okay. In the area of restoring back peace in my home, I would like you to do it. I want you to help me to restore pure peace in my home. There are a lot of things that as a man, I cannot talk. But I'm begging you, as a man of God, I know you are, to bring peace back to my home. I will be very, very, very grateful. Thank you. 
Woman, what do you want us to do? Give, if you don't. What do you want? And what Zion. Do? Daddy, what I want, I need. I need peace in my home. In what area? In what area? I need peace so that let there be peace in my home, both my husband and my children. Let us be united. I need peace. Uh, we have to know the area you want peace. The area I want peace that said that my husband will stop beating me and he will bring back his children. One, he will. He will stop beating me. Uh -huh. Two, he will be united with the twins. He will be united with the, with twins. the twins. Yeah, the two twins. Uh huh. Three. It's okay. Just these two things I need. Where are the twins? Let them come here. Let me see them. <laughs> no, don't ever, ever about that. The book kungen, the book kungen at home. This is the most handsome twins I've ever seen. <laughs> Who do they resemble? Their father or their mother? Their father and mother, who is finer than? He said they resemble their father or their mother. These guys are handsome, man. Now, what is the problem? Two of you, I hope two of you are above 18 years. We are 18, so you are not adults. What is the problem? You see, your father and mother, they are talking about peace. You are not in good time with your father. What is the problem? The problem is that... Uh, normally Louder your voice. The problem is that my father used to beat my mom. And me and my twin and my father, we are not in good terms. Why? He said... He, well, since when we were in jail, that was just three. Our father stopped paying our school fees for us. When you were in just three, just three, yeah, he stopped paying our school fees for us. Why? He did not give any good reason. What he says that um, now nah, I am a Rauko. That was what he said. So we was keep going. SS one, SS two, SS three. So my mom that was paying our school fees for us. SS one, SS two, SS three. Your mom is the one paying the school fees. Yeah. So when one tried to work. I told him that I want to write to Wayek that he should give me money for the Wayek. He said that what he told me is that he don't have. But if you ask me, he have. So my mom was the one that paid the Wayek for me. That was it. So anytime him and my mom will have problem in the house, me and my twin will like come and intervene. To support your mother? Yes, or to separate. He will chase us out of the house. He will chase you out of the house? Yes. He would chase us out of the house. And even now, sir, sometimes if I go to school, I want to come back. Like if I come back to our house, if he see us in the night, he don't used to like welcome us as his son. I don't know. But before when we were small, he used to treat us as his children. So but me, if he asks me, I don't think he's ordinary. So but when we come back from school sometimes, sometimes sir, I don't used to come back from school because if I think of me coming back, I don't used to be happy. So sometimes, for me coming back to school, if everybody have go home, I will have to stay in school. Oh. So, okay. What do you need to say concerning what your brother is saying? What I need to say is, what my twin brother said is true. Uh -huh. What my twin brother said is true. But to me now, what I just need is for you to help my father deliver him because I'm not sure that what he's doing is ordinary. What is he doing? I used to beat my mom and he don't used to train me and my twin brother. Bring the chair here, let them sit down. Sit down. So, how class are you in for now? I'm in 200 level. 200 level? Yes. 
Which university? Um, Federal Oko Polytechnic. Oko Polytechnic. What are you studying? Um, office Technology and Management. Office Technology and Management. These are people we can love to employ in one of Zion companies. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, you know, I, I love twins too much. What, what do you study? The same. Same course. You and your brother are identical. Me and my twin brother are not identical. Are you telling me that since now you are in 200 level, your daddy has never paid your school fees? No. From that SS1 to 200 level? Eh? Yes. He has not paid? Yes. Okay, that is why people are not happy with him. Yes. Okay, after the school, do you used to come back home? Sometimes we used to come back home. But anytime we come back home, there don't used to be like peace between us. And him? Yes. Okay, what is the offense he complained that he people committed? That he people normally support your mother? Like financially. No, what could he say? What will you be able to tell me that made him not to like two of you? Or made him not to pay the school fees to university? What will you be able to say that he's complaining that it's you people's offense? According to what he said, anytime he shouts him, that he's not the one that gave birth to us. That's what he used to say. Okay, are you people done? Is there another thing you want to tell me? The only thing I have to say is for you to make peace in our family. You want peace? Yes, because yeah. I still love my father, despite you everything. You still love your father? Yes. In as much he says that he people are not the one, that is not the one, you still know, you still believe that he's your father. Yes. And maybe he stayed it out of anger. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. Okay, Ngwa, give your father a microphone. I just want to ask them one question. Just one question. When you entered school, is there any time you move money from my account? I want to know. Your father is asking you one question. And that question is, uh, when you enter school, was there a time you moved money out of his account without telling him? That is what he's trying to say. Praise God. Order. Yes, we did. We moved them um, 500,000. But what we did is because that we told him that we want to enter school. You told him he wanted to enter school? Yes, because when we were done with secondary school, he asked us what's next. We told him that we want to enter school. Louder your voice. When we were done with them, SS3, we told him that we want to enter school because he was the one that asked us what next. We told him that we want to enter university. So he was like, okay, no problem. He gave us money for jam. He gave us money for CBT lesson and everything. So along the line, he said that he's no more interested. That was what he said, that he's no more interested. So, me and my mom, sometimes we used to call him and beg him to give us money. Let's finish the clearance because we have gone a long way. So, him, he was not saying he don't have. That was what he was saying. So, when he came back, we, when we are done calculating everything, the money was 500,000. We told him what he said that time that he first of all said he don't have. So, in the morning, we came, we asked him for the money. He said that he will not give us the money. He said that he will not give us the money. And me, I know that my father has money. When your father has money, you will know. He's, I know that my father has money. He said that he will not give us the money. So, and me, in school, I've already, go, I've already gone a long way. I cannot just drop out like that. So, I have to collect the money. How? I use his ATM card to withdraw it from POS. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Ah. I can also understand, but it is not Amen. It is not proper to withdraw money from your father's account without his permission. No matter whatever. It is wrong. It can be provocative. Even if he's not paying secondary school ending and he wants to enter the university and after the jam he says no. The best option is not to take his ATM and withdraw money. It is wrong. Give your mother, mother microphone. Woman, do you respect this man? As your husband, because he is the father of the family. Dear Mike, no, no. Yes, sir. How do you respect him? When last have you cooked food and give him? When last have you washed his clothes? Dad, I used to give him food, but he don't normally stay with us. Since last year September, he traveled. I can't hear his, you. He traveled for his business since last year September. No. Now came back on March this year. Okay, praise the Lord. This Holy Ghost court will continue after divine mercy. After divine mercy, we will conclude. But by the special grace of God, everything will end today, and this family will come together, and there will be progress in the family. Amen. After divine mercy, we come back again. When you come on Monday and the Friday and see the personalities, and see personalities that come from all over the world to see me, but not possible, you will appreciate Holy Ghost God. When you come on Monday, and see those who have been here for six months, three months in the hotel to know if we can see him. You will appreciate the Holy Ghost God. If you come here and see people coming from different parts of the world to know if we can see him, you will appreciate the Holy Ghost God. Holy Ghost God give people some chance. So, And what is Holy Ghost God? It is a powerful means to bring families together. Because we dislike what Bible dislike. We hate what God hates. And we love what God loves. We don't like divorce. We don't like abuses. We don't like beating in the marriage. We don't like humiliation and intimidation of a man intimidating his wife or a woman intimidating the husband. We don't want to have a, a woman bitter. In as much, we don't also want women bitter because some women also beat their husband. So Holy Ghost God is in a means of bringing family together. 